Jesus is in the business of transformation. I want to share a story of transformation with you. This is from Ardalan, a young man. He says, I was born in a well-to-do family. I was smart at school and did well. I always saw myself as a future engineer. But I was physically abused by my father since I was a kid, and I hated him. In the midst of struggling with strong feeling of rejection, I found out my mother has a boyfriend, and it made me hate myself even more because I was born of her. Eventually, my parents got divorced, and the responsibility of the house fell on my shoulder. In one occasion, I remember I had to pay the bills of water and electricity, and I had to steal, steal a pipe from a building under construction and sell it to be able to pay the bills. Instead of becoming an engineer, I had become a thief. I was so hopeless that I was thinking about suicide. One day, an old friend of my father visited me, and I told him about how I'm tired of life, and I cried. He just listened to me and wiped out my tears and said, you want to commit suicide anyway, but try this living God, Jesus Christ, for just one week. That week, I gave my heart to Jesus. Jesus Christ adopted me, a thief, to be his child, and he changed my heart. I have found a very good friend, and his name is Jesus Christ. Once I hated my earthly father, but now I have a deep friendship with him, and my hatred has turned into a pure love. I forgave my father, my mother. I forgave my mother wholeheartedly because Jesus Christ forgave me first. Today, now listen to this about today, today. Today I'm an evangelist for the Lord and I give the word of God to the lost children like me. 20 people have come to faith in Christ so far. Today I'm one year old in my faith in Christ. Please remember one thing. When God is with us, who can be against us? From one year old evangelist, 20 people in one year. Praise the Lord. God is working in Iran. God is raising up evangelists. But how could they hear if we are not sent? I appreciate your partnership because together we are reaching out to Erdogan. Erdogan's life is transformed and through him, tens of people and soon hundreds of people's lives will be transformed. What we do is not in vain. What we sow will bring much result for the kingdom. If you're an investor, invest your time in evangelism. Invest your money in evangelism. And the best, one of the best grounds in the world is Iran. What you sow, you reap abundantly. Would you join us in transforming Iran for Christ, one life at a time. May God bless you.